In today's video, I assemble 24 random vintage Yu-Gi-Oh packs to make an epic Yu-Gi-Oh box. And yes, random commoners, there are some cards that are not from 2002, so get over it. What's up guys, we're back with another video. We have some vintage old school packs today. I just felt like opening something old and I kind of don't have the videos that I thought we were gonna have this week. LODT being a European set has definitely set me back in my schedule a little bit. I think I overestimated how quickly that would arrive from Europe. My main shipment has been delayed, so now I'm ordering for some other people like UK Blue Eyes on Instagram, and I think there's one other guy that I'm gonna be shouting out as soon as we get the boxes, but I ordered some extra boxes to get here like super fast, so hopefully we'll have those later in the week because we have one on stream Thursday and I don't have any boxes. So they're supposed to be here Thursday, so hopefully one of those two boxes boxes will arrive and we can at least do the stream. It, it's super stressful. So I, I, we're just doing what we can. And uh, yeah, I didn't have LODT as a video today. So we had to open something else. And you know what? We had some old school packs. And yes, every time I do these openings, I throw in a couple other packs like Toon Chaos. Look, sure, it's not vintage, whatever. It's like four or five years old. It's four years old. It has some old school cards. It has tunes that everybody likes. So I mean, that totally counts. Not as vintage, but what really is annoying is like, okay, sure, maybe these these right here, okay, like this, even take this out. All this stuff is like 2010 and before. It's 2024, guys. It's time to start calling all these packs vintage, okay? you can, I mean, just because they're not from 2002, 2003, doesn't mean they're not vintage. I'm just throwing that out there to you commoners who are complaining, which is like one person, by the way. So the rest of you guys, you're good. So I'm really just giving them what they want by complaining about it. But you know, that's how it goes. And these packs also include some original logo packs, including Legacy of the Blue Eyes. And by Legacy of the Blue Eyes, I mean Legend of Blue Eyes, because it's not Legacy of Darkness. See what I mean by that? Yeah, that's called not being able to speak right there. Oh, wait, I didn't even do the giveaway. Here's the giveaway. I'll be giving away this Goyo Guardian, which was pulled by myself and Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! the other day. Go see that video. The Duelist Genesis opening was pretty awesome. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below what's your favorite pack we opened today because I have a nice variety. I want to pull something crazy. We did pretty good in the old school opening last week, sort of, except that, uh, that damage yada, which I realized when I made that title, everyone thought we didn't pull anything, <laughs> which we did. But the title really meant we pulled an amazing card and it had a ding in it or like a dent in it, but nobody realized that at first. But I guess they watched it and found out, but some people probably were like, I didn't pull anything, I'm not watching. <laughs> All right, we've rambled enough. And by the way, I have another computer. I finally switched in my new computer and I'm really scared because whenever you switch computers, things can go wrong. Like everything's different. You know, it, it's super scary, especially streaming. So I'm scared to stream. We're gonna be streaming. Uh, a lot like coming up, so I need to make sure it works. Uh, it's a Ruxin special. Oh, a tune page flip. Let's go. Ultra rare tune page flip. This was a pretty nice ultra rare. Got a reprint in Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge, maybe, I think. So, but still, pretty good card. We got a Pot of Desires. I'll pull that out. It's another nice card. Blackluster Soldier, Sacred Soldier. Very cool. I have also probably made the final addition to the background, which will be changed up, but as you guys can see here, I know there's a missing spot right there, but this will be uh, different things. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna rotate through what this is, but we have some old school boxes, tens, Game Boy, you know, in the back right there. There's more stuff down there you guys probably can't see, but you can see a little bit of it. It's like starter decks. There will probably at some point be something right here, but uh, that that's the least important because it's behind my head anyway. Okay, I just wanted to just wanted to mention that I, we are getting close to being able to do like a room tour kind of thing because I've almost finally unpacked from moving in December. So yeah, I finally almost done that. I'm excited uh, to finally finish Black Ops Soldier. And once we do that, you guys will be able to see the full setup and everything. I'll show you guys, you know, some of my sealed stuff, and maybe we'll do an entire collection video at some point. Like. I don't even know what my collection's worth, but we'll make a big number, you know, oh, the, the $200,000 collection or whatever. I think it's probably around two or 3,000, uh, two or 300,000. Uh, but you know, that's only if you sell it, of course. So for me, a lot of it is going to be staying with me. Okay, this is an MVP pack, gold only. We have Cosmic Wave, we have the Gold Gadget, the Crimson Nova, Silver Gadget, and the Induced Explosion. So we got a bunch of duds. So when you open MVP, there's like a few cards that are really awesome, like DMG, Alternative, uh, other Blue Eyes cards, like the uh, the Neo Blue Eyes and stuff like that, or you get a bunch of duds. <laughs> I guess the gadgets aren't too bad. Silver and Gold Gadgets are pretty cool, but I don't think they're that strong or anything. All right, and yeah, I guess I guess go check out the Whatnot and, and bookmark the stream. I'm doing my absolute best at that stream. I think we're gonna be fine unless UPS screws us over on two different packages. So I wouldn't be surprised because it's UPS, but uh, here's Dragons of Legend. 
Legend Unleashed First Edition. We can get a Dark Magician Girl, speaking of, in here. Uh, but yeah, go bookmark that anyway. Uh, the Whatnot streams have been an absolute blast recently. Uh, we did some singles last week, so go give me a follow over there. We're going to be doing a lot of streams over there. It's going to be a good time. I don't think there's a pack trick. There probably is, but I don't know it. Doom Virus, we have Goddess Bow. I am hiccuping everywhere. Former Pal Uni. Raid Raptor, give us that dark... Wait. And Dark Magician Girls at Ultra, I think, in this. So, yeah, I don't think we could get it. Secret Rare, Flower Cardi, and Pine. That is not great. All right, now let's open a Judgment of the Light. This is first, Ed, so we could get a first edition Chicolate, which would be pretty amazing, which would be pretty awesome. I'm just throwing that out there, man. I, I, The preview on OBS is lagging for me, and it scares me so much. I really hope the video doesn't do anything weird. Every time I check, though, it's normal, and it's fine. So... The new computer is stressing me out a little bit, but that's how it goes. Sonic, boom, we have Traptrix Nephthys. Super Defense Robot, I'm sure something will go wrong. I did the wrong pack trick. When we do a live stream, I am ta uh, knocking, knocking on wood here that that will not happen. That would be bad. Okay, the, the Shining Darkness is a first dead pack, so I might, you know what? We're opening a lot of one ofs. Let's, let's get to the ones where we have multiples, like Ancient Prophecy, which could have a Ghost Rare inside. All right, Ghost Rare, please. We've had some good pulls out of these packs uh, pretty much ever. I mean, like all the time. We've always done pretty well with Ancient Prophecy. Scary Moth, that is a scary moth, if you ask me. We have the Infinity Beast, Imperial Custom. Arm C Hunter, that was a dual links card for a while, Divine Dragon. Psychic Soul, Morphtronic Magnum Bar. Deep Sea Rescue, and give us something synchro. Okay. Nobody freak out. Nobody freak out. This is going to be insane. Come on. X Saber Gotems. Okay, that's pretty good. That's an ultra rare. I'll take it. This was an ulti. This would be really nice, but I will still take an ultra. Okay. Stardust Overdrive. Here we go. We have. We've actually crushed this set. We've pulled the ghost a couple times. The only thing we have not done is pulled the first dead ghost. We've pulled Arts Christia in first and on limb. So like we we pretty much we've never pulled Iatos. That would be pretty cool. I don't think we've pulled Unlimited either. We definitely not pulled first dead. Ground Spider, we have Iron Core Armor, Fernity Necromancer, Reptilian Gorgon, Bending Destiny, we have Degen Releaser of Rituals, and Earthbound Wave. If you guys are enjoying the video, by the way, don't forget to check out Ruxon34.com. There are a lot of things over there that you guys can pick up, whether it be old school packs, graded packs, sealed booster boxes, PSA cards, uh, loose cards, like single cards, you know, there's all kinds of stuff over there. So go check it out, support the channel if you guys do that, I appreciate you guys. Also, we do have, do have the new... Uh, we have the new affiliate link. So LODT, if you want to get some for yourself, go check out Sassy Auto's affiliate link down below. We also have for the next set, the uh, the Megatens as well. And I don't, wait, is that the next set? Is that before the Abyss set? Yeah, well, that, well, those are both down there and you can use 5% off using my code. So here we go. Let's get a little LOD action. Twin Headed Wolf, we have Bubble Crash, Possessed Dark Soul, Super Rejuve, Otohime, Bad Reactions Mochi, and let's get a good reaction to Azura, please. That'll do it. The police, I cannot speak. That is a super rare. We will take super rare. Very nice LOD cards. I love it. Amazing. Let's do the Spell Ruler pack. Let's see what we can pull. This is 24 booster packs. Most of them are from 2010 and before, so it is totally fair to put Vintage in the title. Just throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there. Totally fair. This is mostly vintage. There's a couple of extra packs. You know, we could take them out. Yeah, sure, we could. But why would we want to not open Doom Chaos, right? Why would we not want to? This is fun. Luminous Spark. We have a Chain Energy. Let's pull something crazy. Giant Turtle, Slot Machine, Mechanical Snail, Sonic Bird, a Liquid Beast, Nimble the Mongo, and Fairy's Hand Mirror. Okay. We did not get anything crazy there. Back to Doom Chaos. Let's open the last of the wretched, not vintage packs. Let's see if we can pull something. I'm not going to do a pack trick. Let's get a collector rare. I have, I mean, random collector rares. That's tough to come by. Gear Breed. The Chaos Creator. Okay, two ultras. We can't complain about that. Out of like three or four packs of Toon Chaos, that's pretty good. We're pulling some good stuff today. All right, we're going to skip past that. Go to Ancient Prophecy. Let's go to Ancient Prophecy. Let's go for a Ghost Rare. What are the, like, the, what's the biggest secret rare in Ancient Prophecy? It's definitely not as good as Stardust Overdrive in terms of secrets. Um, it's got to be something good, though. We have Damage Translation. Release Restraint Wave. Dark Sea Flip. The Fossil Dig. Arm Sea Hunter. Psychic Soul. Sunlight Unicorn. Kuwaki Mirror Speeder. And an ultimate rare, Gaia Plate, the Earth Giant. All right, that's a pretty sick card. I mean, I've pulled this several times, I feel like. Not a crazy valuable card, but it is a really pretty card. Very, very cool. You have to remove and play two rocks to summon it. It's a pretty cool summoning condition, you know? It's kind of like a, you know, BLS version of rock. You know, you just remove some rocks, you start going crazy. I kind of like that kind of card. 
It's like a power, uh, definitely a power guy to probably like a, a boss monster. Okay, let's try Stardust Overdrive. Three from the back, flippity flop, floppity flip. Somebody gave me a, a pretty good idea of the next line and I forgot it. It was like, I forgot already, but it was good. It was good. Swap Frog, we have Earthbound Wave, we have Time Passage, Gemini Scorpion, and let's Gemini it up and get something crazy. Attack Pheromones, that is definitely not crazy, I will say that. Legacy of Darkness, though, is pretty crazy. Speaking of crazy, we've got a lot of old school stuff coming up, guys. 250k, we will be opening every pack ever made, so all you have to do to get me there is subscribe, and we are getting really close. We're at 240 something, so it's gonna be very, very cool. We have Grey Wing. It's going to be awesome. We're going to pull something really crazy. I have a good feeling about it. We have Super Defense Robo Light. Let's pull something right here, too. Troop Dragon and Magic Reflector. All right. All right. Cool. Yeah, I, I'm I'm extra excited for the 250k special. Let's do one more of these. Uh, I think it's going to be really cool. I'm really excited because we're going to do a whole week of opening. So it's going to probably include uh, the, well, it's going to every pack opening. We're going to have 24 packs of MFC Unlimited. I have a couple ideas for the next one. There's an OCG opening involved. That's like old school packs that I'm working on getting. Uh, that'll be one. I'm going to try to do seven days. The seven days of 250k or something like that. Okay, giant wing, wing get a giant dragon, dragon manipulator, life absorbing machine, emergency provisions, bark dark ruler, wing minion, frontier wise man, the burst breath, and give us something crazy, fiend skull, oh, with a hollow, it's got a hollow drip on it, it's like it dripped a little hollow on there, and a little bit there too, a little bit of a misprint, can you say misprint, yeah, error card, whoa, boggers for the thumbnail. Yeah, pretty crazy, pretty crazy. Poggers in the in the in the comments, not in the chat, because we're not live. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. Let's do the raging battle pack, and then we're gonna do that that uh, dark wing finally. And by dark wing, I mean black wing, not dark wing blast. That is a completely different set that I always mix up with that set. So it's really coming back to bite me. Okay, raging battle, power tool dragon, please. I will take it. Mirror bows, proof of powerlessness, gadget arm. Morphtronic Scoping, Wicked Rebirth, we got the Spine Gilman, yes, Edison format, take that out, Dark Verger, and a Forbidden Chalice, that is a sick ultra, this is the ulti, it would have been sick, we have pulled the ulti before in Unlimited, I still have the card in my binder actually, so, that is a very cool pull, we're doing pretty good on pulls today, alright, Shining Darkness, first edition, here we go, one, two, three, this could be big. A Blackwing Dragon, Ghost Rare, First Ed. I have pulled one before, but it was not for me, so I'd love to pull one for myself, right? We have a Gen X Undyne, Infernity Break, Forbidden Graveyard. We have Gen X Controller, Blackwing Bombardment, Magic Triangle of the Ice Barrier, Electromagnetic Shield, and Watt Woodpecker. All right, the Watt Woodpecker is here, so it did not pay off. Nothing crazy. Okay, Ancient Prophecy, Unlim, but still a lot. Oh, let, let's just call it Unlim, Unlimited Potential. How about that? You know, it's a little unlimited, but it's Unlimited Potential. One, two, three. Three from the back. Come on, baby. Something big. Blackwing Bane, Steel Chain. Long time since we pulled that. That's, hey, that's pretty big. Okay, rekindling. We'll take it at one with the sword. Iron Core Luster. A major upset. Moki Moki is upset. We have Advanced Draw, Reinforced Truth, and... <sighs> Another Ultra Earthbound Immortal, Cha Cha Cholua. Okay, Cha Cha Cholua. Very cool. These are always a little dangerous. Some of these are very sketchy in terms of the names, but I'll take that. I'll take that. One too crazy. By, by, by not too crazy. I mean, it's cool. Like I, I, I said it like the wrong way. Like that was pretty good. Instead of it's kind of sound like I was saying that kind of sucked, but it didn't. I think that's a pretty good Ultra. Not an ulti. I mean, that would be bigger, obviously, but what pack did I just open? Three from the back. I don't know what I just opened. I just did the, yeah. Okay. Start us overdrive. Okay. Yeah. Ashleon. Insect Neglect, Swap Frog, Spider Egg, Woodland Archer. Swap Frog, I probably need to pull out for uh, Edison, just in case I want to play the, the Frog deck, which I don't want to, but Wolf of Sheep's Wealthy. But you never know what you'll want to do in a couple years. And Dark Spider, the Spider Set. That's what we should call Stardust Overdrive. It's literally a Spider Set. I'm going to save the Flaming Eternity because it's first dead. Let's go uh, Dark Crisis first. A vintage opening. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. If you like vintage cards, vintage Yu Gi Oh!, all that kind of different stuff, then make sure to check out Wheeled Goat. Wheeled Goat is where we play old school Yu-Gi-Oh games on Master Duel. So stuff like this will be in there. Sakuratsu Armor, that kind of card. Uh, if you like that kind of stuff, check it out. It's a series we do on Fridays. As long as there's not a new release, then we push it back to another day on the weekend or something like that. But once a week. So keep an eye out for those. We've done 
six episodes now. Yeah, six episodes. Go check them out. Sakuretsu Armor. A lot of you guys missed the last episode with Danny Luke Von Karma. It was a pretty fun episode, especially that last game. Blind, blind the Little Goblin. Mustering of Dark Scorpions. We have Desfer Limp and Pandemonium Watch Bear. Okay. Dark Crisis. Cool. Okay, these are original logo. Let's do the last leg legacy. We'll do Flame Eternity next. Then we'll do the original logo packs, which, yeah. Let's get to this Legacy of Darkness pack. Here we go. Let's pull something crazy. Four from the back. We have Dragon Dwelling in the Cave, Spirit's Invitation, Twin Headed Wolf, a Gradius option, Serpentine Princess, Spirit Ryu, Spiritual Energy Settle Machine, Super Robo Lady, and the A Forces, the A Team Forces. Sure, not crazy. Let's do Flame Eternity. There's a lot. I mean, this is a retail pack, but there's still some really great retail ones. I mean, a Phoenix Wing one blast first dead ulti would be insanity. I would definitely put that in my Edison deck. Unless it was like a PSA 10. Well, I don't know if I even want to grade that. I don't know. It'd do well, probably graded, but it might be one that goes straight to the Edison deck. We have Catnip Kitty, Poison Fangs, Divine Dragon, Ragnarok Thor, Flame Ruler, Insect Knight, Insect Knight back to back? Okay, I've seen two in the same pack, but two in a row? Of all insect fighters, he is the paragon of the indestructible insect invaders, which only the elite of the elite can join. We can no longer ignore the unmatched battle prowess. And yeah, there's two of them. There, that's why they said there. It's like, I mean, insects. There's When you see one, you know there's more than one. It's kind of like that. And then here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Super rare. I totally thought it was an ulti. <laughs> All right, you got me excited. It's always Behemoth. It always makes you like, oh yeah, we got something good. And it's just Behemoth, the king of all animals. So it's not horrible, but it's also not an ulti. All right, last three packs. Look, vintage. We finally got to the vintage section, 2002. Okay, all right. We got the, uh, no, we, we're going to do Pharaoh Servant first. That's the newest. Genzo? I mean, anybody? Genzo? I think that would go well. I, I highly doubt there's anything in these. I got these as loose, so they're probably weight or something. But you know what? That's how actually, actually technically got all the packs we've opened today is loose and they've done pretty well. So maybe, who knows? This is a different lot though. So I don't feel great about it, but we're going to try it out. Overdrive, man, these just, the vintage do, I mean, 2002 does feel different. I'll say that. Overdrive, we have Major Riot. The Wing Weaver, a six, a six winged fairy who prays for peace and hope. Very nice. Solomon's Law, a deep sea warrior. Oni Tank, Ruxin 34. What a video. We'll take it. Dokuro Yaiba, classic and... Skull imitation, come here, I will destroy your wallet. All right, two packs left. I mean, it's okay, we can save it all for LOB, Blue Eyes, White Dragon. Or we can get a Blue Eyes tune here, on original on Limb Blue Eyes tune, actually pretty expensive, so. That would still be a really crazy pull, even though it's not first dead. And it would be beautiful, I'd definitely grade it if it was gradable. Secret Rare Blue Eyes tune, we have Spear Cretan, the Cretan of Spear, weather report. Upstart Goblin, nice card. Ceremonial Bell, The Final Destiny. Penguin Knight, the Knight of the Penguins. Igaboon, Queen Bird, and a Mother Grizzly. Okay, yeah, as I suspected, these are not too crazy. But you know what? There's only three packs. There's not even ratio for a foil. So what do we expect? I'll tell you what I expect. I expect the Blue Eyes White Dragon. All right, let's go. <laughs> Blue Eyes, let's go. Last pack magic. If you guys enjoyed the video, <laughs> make sure to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to go check out Whatnot. Bookmark the next stream. Check out Ruxin34.com if you guys want to support the channel. And Wheeled Goat, of course. So those are all the shout outs. Now let's pull the blue eyes. Silver got it. We have Monster Egg. Nimi Rico. Gotta stop sucking on your thumb, buddy. You gotta stop that eventually. We have Sogan. 13th Grave. The Robbie, the dinosaur. Two Mile Dark Ruler. Hino Tama. And a Cherubin, the Fire Knight. All right. Okay. Yeah, that was a pretty rough, rough way to end. I figured those were not like the Navi thing, but you know, we had to give it a chance. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Anesta Deanna, America Deutscher, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. Chengalang, and Aldelsa Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.